And as we keep an eye on several coronavirus projections, one that has gotten a lot of attention is the one produced by the University of Washington. Tonight, CBS 17 digital data reporter Jody McCreary is digging deeper into that projection to see what lies ahead for North Carolina. We're in the middle of a critical week in North Carolina in the fight against the coronavirus. That model projects the peak in occupied hospital beds here to come Friday. That group's projections have been more optimistic than most, but they hinge on one key factor, everyone keeping their social distance through the month of May. So far, they seem to be pretty accurate. Modelers expected the peak in New York to have passed last week, and the numbers could be backing that up. And in Ohio, leaders revised their dire projections to bring them more in line with this data. In the North Carolina figures, there are three main points. They think the peak in daily deaths came Monday with 22. They project hospital bed capacity to max out later this week, saying that number will reach 713. And they project the total death toll to reach 415 in August. Yet Pia McDonald of RTI International says we shouldn't put too much emphasis on projections. I think we can learn a lot from models, but I think we would be better off actually looking at the numbers of deaths that we are seeing in state. So I think looking at what the epidemic curve looks like in North Carolina based on deaths and number of new cases is more helpful when we're talking about specific days and when we're talking about potentially being at the peak. I don't think the models are can be accurate enough versus what the data is showing on the ground. It all comes back to social distancing. The model assumes those measures will stay in effect for the next month and a half. But lifting them early, that could have a huge impact. We'll tell you about that in the full story on our website, cbs17.com.